Hello, in this video I'm going to talk about my best option signals for the members of my Patreon group. First of all, we have Rivian calls which went up 11x from June 22 when I noticed this impressive number of calls. The strike price was $17.5 and the stock back then was below $15. The expiration date was July 21st this was the total premium if we multiply the number of calls here with the price we are going to see 2.4 million dollars invested in those calls and i published this uh, article on july 11 close to that date the rivian calls went up from 0.58 dollars as i said to 5.30 dollars the difference between the bid and the ask here an upside of 11x that was a fantastic gain but if you held those calls until expiration rivian went up to $27 and this was a 24x gain. This was my exit. This was my opinion about the exit it was a quick 11x uh, trade. Then because most of you like Tesla, I have this 5.9x gain on Tesla on some aggressive calls. This was a signal with a short term expiration date, intra week. The calls back then were $3.25 and at the expiration then they went up 5.9x to 19. Then we have from April 24th the immunogen calls. This was the chain for May 19th. They had a lot of calls for six and seven dollars. I told the members about the four dollars at the money strike price. They were the safest and those calls went from 90 cents to 9.15 dollars. If you somehow bought the six or the seven dollar strike price they went up about 20x each but uh, we chose something safer the most recent calls were on cpri which had a lot of calls for uh, september 15th they went from 0 0.90 premium to 12 dollars for a gain of 13.4x this was a buyout then we have those Amazon calls from July 17th. Amazon had a lot of calls back then, 43,600. And uh, those calls went from $1 to $3.75. It was a gain of 3.7x. The chain was still bullish, I was saying back then. And uh, at the expiration date, they went up 5.4x. Then we have uh, this short term uh, expiration date uh, published on August 1st. Citigroup had those calls. The 48 strike price went from Wednesday back then to Thursday when uh, the stock spiked 4.75x. As you can see, the 48 went from 19 cents premium to. 0.90 cents so a decent 4.75 x gain they went a bit higher but this was my sell signal then we have an earnings play around the uh, july 23rd it was on dfs strange puts this stock usually didn't have too many puts but uh, this time it had a head of earnings and uh, those puts went from uh, as you can see here 1.55 dollars premium to about 17 dollars premium a gain of 11x another interesting call was uh, on signature bank which uh, back then was 112 dollars on january 10th even if i sold too early this was uh, as you can see uh 10x trade on uh, may 24th we had these equitrans midstream uh, calls which also didn't have too many options in its history but uh, back then it was a huge volume of five million dollars worth of calls that was the premium paid for these calls for uh, eight dollar strike price when the stock was 5.86 the premium was 25 cents and that premium went up to 1.85 dollars it was a 7.4x gain suddenly went up 44 percent after an unusual state contract 
Then we have XPEV. Those calls went from $0.36 to 8.4x. The stock went up from uh, 8.08 to more than $10. CRISPR was a trade from April 3rd. The stock back then was 45.50. The premium for the 55 strike price was 3.75 and uh, the stock went up 4.65x around May 29th. Meta on April 26th at those calls 235 strike price and the calls went up 4.25x bbio was a, a biotech which made a public offering at 17 dollars per share and uh, the stock was trading back then at 14.48 and i was targeting the 17 as a fair value price on march 13 it was this signal and on july 23rd close to that date they went up 4.7 x the stock went higher than 25 dollars and uh, the calls had this price back then a stock that had a lot of puts was alta beauty those are some uh, makeup products from China. Back then the stock was uh, 511 and the strike price 450. The premium paid 4.90 and someone bought uh, a block of puts worth 2.2 million dollars. Those blocks of uh, calls or puts are for institutional investors trading outside of the exchanges on a privately negotiated price. So this was the premium. The signal was sent on May 12th and uh, around May 29 the calls went up uh, to $32.55 the difference between the bid and the ask here reflecting a 6.65x gain another signal was on NEO on June 23rd because XPEV went up I thought that NEO will also go up and uh, NEO went higher than $10 this was the expiration date entry price 8.38 strike price and the premium paid was 1.26 and uh, you can see that August 1st close to that date the calls went up 4.45x I have print screens for everything so you can be sure that was the case Joby was the first company confirming aircraft nearing completion on track to roll out on May 17 the premium was 0.96 and uh, it went up 4.3x the number one trending ticker on Yahoo Finance back then on July 3rd close to that date and the last one is Reta which was a buyout this was my signal on March 1st that I opened the position before a phase free clinical trial result I bought not only the calls but also the stock at $30 after the the results it went up 175 percent this was my profit here two thousand four hundred dollars and then it went up to 165 back then the stock was thirty dollars and after the phase free clinical trial eighty five dollars the result was a 5x imagine if you bought calls instead of the stock they went up a lot if you are also interested in getting this type of signals you have my patreon link in the description of this video i have posted 449 winning trades for this year of course there are also some losing trades but uh, this track record is uh, hard to find in my opinion there are a lot of winning trades i'll be waiting for you on my whatsapp or telegram group to find those trading gems in the options market together